it's time I'm about to pay off my student loans and I'm actually kind of nervous I don't know why and I actually feel like I'm gonna start to cry I don't really know how to feel right now but yeah <sighs> we're about to pay off this AES success loan let's sign on in we're going to loan pay off oh my god select both of them damn these are all my undergrads 05 and 08 it's fucking crazy. You see how I was trying to pay off the one with the higher interest rate sooner, but we're gonna do this bitch today, motherfucker. Oof. <laughs> oh God. I just got paid today so I can pay it off and still have enough money to eat. <laughs> so that's good. But um, I mean, it may be tight, especially if I don't get paid on the 15th like my goal was to pay it off by the end of summer and guess what it's fucking end of summer so let's just do this oh my god ten thousand dollars it's like it's like giving me anxiety i'm nervous again no no we're just doing it thank you your payment has been successfully submitted i still have like hundred and fifty thousand dollars left oh it's like i should be happy but it's just no, I just have to do the bigger loan now. It's just like a never ending, like, it's just the constant feeling of never being satisfied because you make these huge payments, but then you barely make a dent in anything. So, I don't know. Okay guys, so, Feeling a little bit unsatisfied from paying off the amount. I just wasn't feeling like it was impressive. So I did something. One, two, three. Oh, oh my God. I'm like actually kind of shaking and I don't know why. $42,696.96. $42 like a boss. Oh my gosh, this is like, oh my God, this is like such a special cake. I'm like a roller coaster of emotions. Oh. All right, here we go. I'm the only one in this house besides the dogs. This is my cake, literally, I'm gonna be the only person eating this cake okay yum oh. yeah honey i feel better for the moment i like that i bought this for myself as a treat mm -hmm. while the big news is that i paid off my aes success the bigger news on top of that is since I started my financial journey with Dave, Dave Ramsey in December of 17, I've paid off about 40, 40 to $43,000 of debt. $43,000 of debt. December, I paid off my credit card. There was only maybe about $1,000 on that. Um, a couple months later, I paid off my car, which I think was six thousand dollars i paid off my aes success loan and all of that totaled what 42 43 thousand dollars like i said it's it's a big deal and it's a lot of money but that's just a drop in the bucket to what i have to do now like want to be happy that i paid off that amount but I still, have a, I still have a long way to go, so I thought I'd be more excited. Sometimes I get excited. I think that's why I got myself that cake is because it's a reminder that I accomplished so much and so little, but I like feel happy sometimes and then I feel like that's still not enough. 
And I guess that's the problem with debt and trying to get out of it is that you just, unless you're until the day that you don't have any more debt, you're just always trying to chase something. And I don't really do good with that kind of feeling. But yeah, anyways, new budget. I adjusted a few things, got rid of a few things. So um, this is gonna be the new budget that I'm gonna work with. It's just much cleaner. Um, I think I was just trying to do too much in the last budget and I wasn't really too into it. So I'm a little anxious because I crunched the numbers and I need to make a lot of money over the next two years if I wanna pay off my hundred and fifty sixty thousand dollar student loan payment so let's begin with the new budget click click no there it is i changed the lines on my income sheet i changed it from google to adsense and from youtube to brand deals so that will make just a little bit more sense so far this month i got paid twenty thousand um, dollars that was how i was able to pay off ten thousand dollars to um, AES to pay it off um, but again remember I have to not only take taxes out but I also have to give 20% to my management team so that means I only took home about twelve thousand dollars so um, that didn't leave me with that much left over when I paid off my student loan luckily I still have some money in the bank from last month. Over here in this little asterisk area, it says my monthly goal for the next two years is $18,000. And the reason why that is, is I'm aiming to pay off my loans in two years. And I know that is super aggressive. And am I gonna make that much money a month? No, <laughs> um, but I just needed a really aggressive goal to set for myself in order to make the most amount of payments that I can, if that makes sense. I could easily pay it off in three years, but I don't wanna do that. I wanna fucking move on with my goddamn life. I wanna buy a home, I wanna get married and start a family, and I physically, it's like a mental block. I can't do that until I get rid of my student loan debt. And I don't know if that sounds dramatic to you, but to me, that's just, I can't move on with my life until this debt is gone. So aggressively, two years, which means $18,000 a month um, in total income, sorry, because then I take out taxes and then I take out commission and then that would still give me a month enough. I think that would give me maybe like $11,000 left to pay off the rest of my um, uh, responsibilities, including the payments to my student loans. Student loans. Now, with Mohila, we're being strategic here, okay? My monthly minimum payment is going to be $423. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do direct deposit of that amount out of my checking account. And we're going to do that at the beginning of the month. I have actually never done um, a direct deposit out of my banking account because I was never really sure if I had the amount of money I needed every month in my account to do direct deposit. So we're going to do that. I'm going to just throw 5000 and some change into that account, hopefully if I have that kind of money. So I'm going to contribute twice a month. The goal is $6,000 a month. Some months I'll hit it, some months I won't. Um, and I'm just going to have to be okay with that because I, I, I'm already so tired working all these goddamn jobs. But that's the deal with the student loan. A Roth IRA, I, like I said, have been contributing to my Roth. Um, this year, 2017, was the first year that I actually contributed to retirement. So I've already done that. I think the max is, what, 5,500 for the year. So I've already done that. So I don't need to contribute anything until 20, 2019. Health insurance, I pay quarterly, so I already took care of that for the next couple months. And then car insurance, I pay it every six months, so my payment this month is about $1,400, and that is a lot, but I have that money right now, so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, finish that payment off, and then I don't have to worry about it until next year, which is really nice. Next is uh, other. 
my expenses. Most of them pr stayed pretty much the same. So my total expenses for the month, and it's going to be a big number, but just remember, it includes my rent, and it includes the goal of my monthly payment, so $6,000 towards student loans. My total expenses for the month is like $10,000. I feel like that's really aggressive and that is definitely a lot of money. Um, I feel like I can do it at least maybe for half of the year, um, but we'll see. As the months go on, I will readjust the budget and um, yeah. Do you think I can do it in two years, guys? The reason why we're paying off this debt so aggressively is so we can move on with our lives. And I'm using the we here because um, like we're all in, in this together. That's my new budget. Um, we're starting a new chapter in my debt journey, people. We are conquering Godzilla right now. My $150,000 loan is conquering Godzilla. So any words of encouragement, please let me know. And if you have any work or if you're a brand that's looking to work with someone, send them my way, okay? Please. I'm Asia Dang. Thanks so much for watching this video. I will see you guys next time.